All right, it is a muggy spring morning here in South Louisiana. We got a very early start today. I got Joel with me, who's all buffed out because of the <laughs> because of the terrible gnats, and also Dustin Jones, Ohio native, who's fallen in love with South Louisiana and our fishing. Moved down here just to fish. We got some great conditions, super calm. It's supposed to be calm all day. It's really kind of misty and rainy, overcast, but we found some beautiful water here deep in the heart of Plaquemines Parish. And we're targeting everything today. Anything we can get to bite, speckled trout, redfish, bass, who knows, maybe even some flounder and some other things. We'll see what bites. But given these conditions, I definitely like our chances today. We got high water, but a falling tide. It's gonna be falling pretty much the whole day. Let's see what happens. There he is. Yep, 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 yep. Shoot, I missed him, Joel. Daggum it. I'm only missing the first fish of the day, although it was my first cast, so probably best that I missed him. There he is. There he is. Oh, speckled trout. Speckled trout on the first cast. Uh, man, he's borderline, Joel. I don't know. I don't know. Joel and Dustin are playing fiddlesticks over here. <laughs> Excuse me if you don't mind. I got to measure this fish. Well, we're going to let him go. He's close, but not close enough. Got him, Joel. Got him, Joel. Speckled trout. Speckled trout. I love it. A little bit bigger, it looks like. Yeah, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. We're right on top of these fish. I might pull up a little bit. All right, there we go, Joel. Definitely a keeper. Joel, what are you throwing? Double rig with what? With a magneto and an X-shad. Magneto and X-shad. I got a double rig with a H and H glass minnow and a shrimp creole matrix shad on a 1 16th ounce death grip jig head. Double rigs under corks. Very effective technique. Oh, there he is. Get him, Joel. Got him? Yep. That's a nice trout. Nice fur. Damn. So nice to catch some trout. He hasn't come up yet. We'll see. Well, he's definitely a trout. Definitely keeper trout. On the egg shed. On the egg shed. The way fish has been lately, you'll take any trout you can get. Oh, it's getting natty. Yeah, I might switch and put on a TKO. Just out catch everything else. I'm gonna put on a TKO. Talk myself into it. Joel, just wait till they see the TKO. Then I gotta touch your bait. Yeah. Yep, oh. there he is. There he is. On the TKO, switch to the man. TKO. He doesn't feel too big, Joel. But he'll make the team. He might, he might he make the make team. team baby. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he'll make. He will make the ruler, I know that. Yeah, he will make the, the ruler. That's 12. Yeah, I think he's 12. Okay. Looked in the bottom lip. Dustin is hurriedly tying on a cork of his own. He makes it. Joel, throw yours in here. Joel, throw it just to the right of that point. Holy Toledo! Oh, he ripped the rod out of my hands. That's, That's a good trout. That's a nice trout. That's a good trout. Oh yeah. All over Joel's rods. We're gonna catch him today. Yeah, he's all hooked in the gills. No wonder he made a mess. He ripped the rod. He ripped the rod out of my hands. This poor fish. He's gonna taste good because he's gonna be bled to death. Dude, it looks like I just murdered somebody. This soft steel is Dude, it's freaking awesome. It is awesome. Yeah. Casting a new rod. Kinda gotta learn it. Ooh! Oh! 
Oh shite! I had, I had to wind up. I was wind I was up, playing man. with the trolling motor. If I were you, I'd put that cork away. We're not in a real cork zone. I never can. There he is. There he is. Trout. Trout in a deep bayou. Yes. Hey, big boy. On the tiger bait matrix shad. Good color for this clarity of water. Keep your speckled trout. This water is great. Yeah, water's gorgeous. Gorgeous. How deep now? Oh, there he is. No way. Yep, speckled trout. No speckled way. trout. That's why we came. That's why we came. He smoked it too, bro. Yeah, but it's it's deeper where I threw. You see how this water's mixing? There's a ledge. Oh, shite. No. Boy, did I get drilled. Joel, I'm telling you, I got smoked. I don't know how I missed that fish. Oh, no. You drilled? Mm, yep. You thought you had something? Oh, it was a fish. There he is. Oh. Are you actually? No, he was hooked up for a second. Got some fish here, boys. Dude, two, well, counting Dustin's, three smokes. Oh, come on. Got him. There we go. Yeah, Dustin. Glad somebody could catch him. Let's see if he gets in the boat, though, Joel. It's a good it's trout. Nice it's a good trout. trout. Look how fast he reels. Get him in. You got, oh, sorry, Joel. You got a rocket? <laughs> there he is. I'm there he is. That time. All right. Oh, I lost mine. Shoot. All right. Dustin caught his first deep water. Well, not really. You caught some in that Margio, huh? Where you want to go? You really got to throw here. Oh, oh dude. Darn it. Dog. Did you have a hit? Yeah, he had the fish on. I saw it. Remember Joel said he was going to put your fish away? Yeah, I do. So, what I'm finding... A little circle current right here and you can feel your lure starting to actually come up oh that's exactly where, they're, that's exactly where yeah. they're at right on that ledge i mean there's see that's an indication of boiling water i don't know how i missed that fish you that one different. tattooed me go ahead dustin i'll reel in throw what you want we're gonna have what, what we're gonna have to do is when it's your turn to cash you gotta come to the right i'm gonna go fix that trolling motor that was a freaking smoke job i'll get this fish that joel was gonna get don't worry about it joel I've gotten tattooed like three or four times, like like crazy hard hits, like that. It's impossible. There he is. That there one didn't is. miss it. Go to my side. Be easier. All right. All right. Deep water speckled trout. It's the right time of year for this to happen. These fish feed on croakers in this deep water and areas influenced by fresh water. And man, I just love it. I love doing this. What the hell is that? Got one. Dustin's got one. <laughs> oh, I got two. Do huh? Joel's way. <laughs> Dustin reels his fish in faster than anyone. He's got. Oh. He's got a 10 to 1 ratio, I guess. What is the ratio on that reel? I don't know. I think it is 7 to 1. Ah. Uh, be hard to get Man, is it out. natty. Oh, my God. Got one. Oh, nice. Dude. You know what they get? It might be a that, big drum. Yeah, that might be something else. Might be a big drum. Man, that's what I want to catch. The big drum cr <laughs> crowd oh, these. Dang. No. No. <laughs> nice. You know what? You might run off our trout, though. Nothing you can do about it, but very good chance you're gonna run off our trout. Man, dude, what is this? That looks be a fun. cat. 
You know what? It might be a foul hook trout. Really? That's all he's fighting? That's a foul hook trout. It is. Yep. Oh, he's not a big damn. No. It's a keeper. Keeper. All right. There you go, Joel. All right. The best stuff on the planet for dealing with gnats. Victoria's Secret Amber Romance. Get some. Carry it with you this time of year. You will thank me later. The other thing I was trying a little bit. There he is. Thinking. Oh. Oh, I think you guys wrapped up. Yeah. Trout. Trout. Not big, but big enough. Definitely a keeper. Yeah, he's 12 and a half. Come on, boys. Yeah, I think I threw it too short this time. I'm not on the ledge. I'm up on top of the ledge rather than on the drop off. They're definitely on that drop off. You, Dustin, feel free if you want to get to my right, whatever, whatever you want to do. Kind of sweat. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> sweat. Yeah, you I'll can wait over here. Got one. Nice. I might have to play a little bit of musical chairs. Uh, yeah, but I think that's the thing to do. If we all need to get to the right and cast, then just walk to the left. Nice, nice, nice. So nice to see some speckled trout. All right, let me get to your right, Dustin. Joel, if you're not getting bit, you're not getting down. No, I'm not on the bottom. I know that. Definitely not. I'm definitely on the bottom, 100%. Keep on going. What are you throwing? What weight? Three well, that's what I'm throwing. Mm -hmm. oh. there, he is. there he is. Dustin got him. Well, that's a nice one. What you got there, D? Draw you got the bottom. Got the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really, really nice one. In fact, it gets no bigger. Got it off the bottom, I think. Up the bottom again. Oh, that's a fish that time. <laughs> that's a fish that time. There he is. Double. I Double. I wrapped up on something. On Double. The bottom. Yeah, you got you on. You, there's a bunch of oysters down there. You can feel them. Yeah. No, I was like wondering if I had the fish. No, that. Oh shoot. Right next to the boat. Dang gum it. To your right, Joel. Once you start feeling that bottom. Right yep. There, yep. That's the key. The you gotta get down. Dustin's got one in the middle of the oh, good one. tidal wave. Good one. What is that? Is that a red? It's a red. Get the net. It's a red. You wanna net him? How, how heavy is your how heavy is your line? There you go. Alright, here you go, Dustin. That's what Dustin likes to catch. Redfish, ace keeper. 17 inches or so. Measuring just to be sure, but he's he looks like a keeper. I don't know if you can see this boiling water right here, but that's what you want to look for this time of year to catch those deep water speckled trout. Those fish wait on the edges of those ledges and ambush bait that's coming, being swept by the currents over it. That's the scenario we got right now. The current's coming this way, falling off that ledge and boiling up. And the prey gets very disoriented and those trout just wait there. Also, many times I look for areas where the tide is pushing into a ledge and that water's boiling up. It's like a point of compression and you catch a lot of fish that way. I can't get down anymore. That's the problem. There he is. There he is. is Got to get down. So important. Not the fish of the day. I'm not even sure he's a keeper, is he? I don't think he is. Oh, no. I don't look like it from the look. I don't think he's 12. I don't know. He's long. I'm going to measure him.
There he is. There he is. Keeper truck? No, he's not big, but he's a keeper. Woohoo! Woohoo! Stay in the boat there, Johnson. Filling up the box. Like you want some super free advice? I've let the thing just sit out there. Like, I'm only getting hits. And it ain't. It just keeps going. In this particular zone right here, when I can feel these oysters. And it's like you just kind of pick it up and put it down. Like, Ooh, and then they come and smoke it like that. Like that. Look how far out that fish was. Like it feels like it's so much closer when you're fishing it. Yeah. But they're right they're right outside that boil. I'm thinking maybe halfway through a cast less more line now. That's a good trout. I switched to the limbo slice. Two cast, two fish. Not a bad one. Yeah, well. I mean, I, I don't like fishing that, but I know this braid you can feel, at least. I mean, it's... How, how heavy is this fluoro? 12. So Joel and I have switched rods because he is having trouble catching them with his uh, 12 pound fluoro just doesn't have the sensitivity of that 30 pound soft steel braid i really hate fishing with this fluoro but i'll make a sacrifice for my son Ooh, that's all. <laughs> well, i guess it's not the i guess it's not the rod <laughs> Not a big one. Hooked him outside the mouth. This deep water trout run will continue in these Plaquemines Parish marshes really through about mid-May or so. I've caught them into June, but usually by then it's about over. The fish kind of gets small, it's just a lot of juveniles. But throughout the month of May, it's usually very good. As long as the water is clear, you can definitely find them. We're pulling for you, Joel. It's like, you know, when you take a make-a-wish kid fishing, <laughs> like you really want them to catch something. Yeah, I've done a lot of fishing, but I don't think I've ever caught fish over about like eight pounds. Oh yeah, ever? Wow. So if it's a big drum, I was all about it. <laughs> yeah, you catch them doing this. You catch them up to like forty pounds, just monsters. Take your forever to land them. Where else do you think that wedge might be? You think it's like longer than what we're fishing? <sighs> Well, I mean, it extends all the way through here, but the fish set up where they set up. You can see that boiling water right there. That's why they're set up right there. That's where the bait is getting disoriented. Come on, got him. Dustin got no. him. No. <laughs> Come on. Oh, little. man. That's a keeper. Joel's, we'll Joel's we'll take... dissing your fish just I because... I didn't diss your fish. You said, oh, man. You were about to. I said, nice. You were about to. Oh, I know. Nice I know man. you. <laughs> oh man, nice oh, man. fish. <laughs> nice 12 and a half incher. See, I'm not down yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I'm on the reef. Let's ah, see. See? It's about to happen now. I'm mad. I'm not a There he is. Man, you got to get on that reef. I'm telling you. Man, what an excellent, excellent day. Made even more fun 
by the fact we took Dustin, who doesn't have a whole lot of experience with this type of fishing, but really handled himself very, very well. It's always fun to see our marshes and fishing action through people who don't get to experience it as much as we do. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you notify whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Mass on. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the fishing segment of the video, but you know, I'd love to tell you about places to eat when you're down here in Plaquemines Parish. And today I'm at one of my favorites, eaten here several times. It's called Lil G's. It's in Bell Chase. The place is almost always crowded because the food is so good. So if you get here in peak times, you might have to wait a little bit, but trust me, it's worth it. Good, how are you? Good, what you here for today? Uh, I'm take a water with no ice, please. Today's special is a shrimp stew over rice served with potato salad, fried shrimp for $10. Oh, wow, okay. Man, just insanely good. Even better than I remember. And I'm actually taking some food home with me. Just too much to eat. 